1876. Poland get off to a great start. Iniak putting the ball down very quickly. LaRue in for his height. And Stoop plays the block appropriately as well. Couldn't do so that time. Kevin Tilly in the back. Unable to move himself properly. Tilly currently in position five. And Gapet off the block and France even it up early. This could be a shootout of epic proportions today. Leon, Ungapet, Vignac, Lerou. Some huge, huge men, some huge, huge hitters on this court here in Gdansk. Ungapet overhits. Apologises. English fans applaud everything Poland do. everything France do which wasn't the case yesterday evening I must say they were so appreciative of France and Slovenia eight and a half thousand people hung around for that one which is a testament to the knowledge and the passion for volleyball in Poland Leon explodes into the point there winning the battle of the Neu Boyer seeing the opportunity as Genia Rabennikov was Further back, the Libro, all three front row players coming across, Kevin Tilly. Leaving the space open, Leon into Ungapet, he could have gone anywhere else and scored the point. Poland keep it live, Leon goes back for bite number two of that cherry. And then misses, and Tilly has missed himself. Now, France will challenge, Musaj turns around and nods. Knows. He knows there was a touch. Honestly, in real time, I thought it was netting out, but the face of Mazej Muzesh told us everything we need to know. He looked round at Vitalainen and just said, Yeah, it hit my fingers. The video will show it. And Kevin Tilly, totally right. The challenge, that's what it's there for. In the main, the players very well behaved with decisions made. Tino now yesterday of Slovenia was getting rather animated for France, but it's part of it, part of the theatre. Wow, Kevin LaRue was part of that theatre yesterday evening. Turning it round. 23-19 to take it 25-23. Rudo this time warming that serving arm up. Getting too much behind the ball. 4 2 Poland. Poland defeated France 3 2 at the 2016 World Olympic Qualification Tournament. 11 apiece at world level, these two. And Leon. Slap bang down the middle. Position three. Gets in the way of. Boyer, oh, in fact, sorry, he was in position four. Boyer gets that one down in front of Pavel Zatorski. Steeply down. The Libro switch, Fotasek, Fotasek comes in, and number ten. Stefan Boyet, 11 points yesterday. 101 spikes in the VNL. Serves to a chorus of boos and aces. Lovely service from Boyet. Had pace, swerving downwards. Leon left it alone. Oh. Just, just on the line, was it? But yeah, again, that time, the net clatters. Boyer yeah, turns away. 6-4, Poland. 
La Rue. Now, La Rue, it looked to me like a flexor type error injury for him. That will not be easy with all the jumping, stretching that volleyball players have to do, especially in the middle blocker position. And there is a perfect example. Excellent from Dujka Navakowski and Dujka getting in the way. Now Tilly gets the point. Poland not sure will they challenge. Fitterlinens looks happy. student of his challenges I that's a beautiful shot from Tilly and then the error as in race Satorski the Libro tried to keep it live Durish get the setter Wachowski was up there a long time and was trying to manufacture something past Chin and Yeze. Chinenyeze again. Leon couldn't quite get his hands correct there. Seven apiece. Oh, in fact, it was way further away from Leon than it looked in the first instance. Muzaj, the one who missed it. Big reverse from Durushka. Muzaj coming through. Cool timeout comes up. Poland eight, France seven. This one has all the hallmarks of a thriller. Great start between two very, very exciting teams who both currently have a winner piece, both have a three nothing winner piece. Who will come out of this one in the best position possible? Mark from Kubiak so far. The captain. The mixed day yesterday against Tunisia. FIVB F -I -V -B volleyball. If you want to have your say on social media. Good from Boyer, but he. Rather telegraphed the backcourt pipe. Oh, nice. Binia just about snuck it down as well. Wasn't far away from being out here. Muzaj, well defended by Tilly. Binia. As Poland moved the French defence to the right hand side as France looked. Left a gap on the left. 9-7. And Gapet tries to manufacture the point. Swinging the arm around on the spike. Gets the point as well for 8-9. But Poland are reviewing, are challenging. In. It's in. It's a challenge. Gapet, no luck. LaRue, no luck. Gapet can move on from his lack of luck there. For Kevin LaRue, I was about to say it might be a different story, but then. He just bounced his way towards the court. Novakowski goes out. LaRue's in. So, the injury not as bad as I feared it may have been. In and 
out it goes. Onto the blocker and out of play and Poland have a healthy lead out of this technical timeout. Look who it was. Gruszka with the serve. Boy, yeah. Oh, it just rattles around like a pinball there. Bienik was still <laughs> trying to play his own game. Hadn't realised the point of being given Poland's weight. Well, oh, Kubiak causing Boyet all sorts of problems there. Kevin LaRue after the dream finish yesterday. It was a nightmare start today. 9-12. Poland off for a point back. Tonuti. From Gapet, out it goes. Poland, 13-9 now. Irvin, and Gapet. It wasn't the perfect point for France at all. See the blocker just ducking underneath as well. Now Ungapet pushes off the block, gets the point that time. Clever play from him, a man who scored 14 points yesterday. Irvin Ungapet, another player for Zenit, Kazan. And he will now serve, teammate of Leon. Serving to that crescendo of Booz. And he nets 14 10. Well, Lauren Tilly looks stressed, but to be fair, he looked stressed at 2 0 yesterday. Playing really anxious poker face, essentially, from the French coach. As it goes hard off the net, Biniak sees the funny side of life there. Wanders away for an early break for him. 81 points in the recently concluded Volleyball Nations League. Looking for his second Olympic Games. Out it. Oh, now. That was given out by the flag. The referee, though, pointed France's way. Free is called it. 12 14. Now there's going to be a review, a challenge. Well, the referee said, I made my decision. Decides to take the challenge. In, comfortably in, which is why, to be fair to the referee, he probably should have trusted himself there. He saw it in real time. He's comfortably in. These are world class referees. Luta goes. Timeout called. We'll have another timeout in a few moments' time because the technical timeout is just a couple of points away for Poland. Let's have a listen in. Rare team talk from Vettelainen where he pulls everyone in and actually talks them through, gives them a pep talk. It doesn't often happen, you don't see it much. He passes messages on to his assistants, he lets his players think it through. He's constantly studying, you can see him down just behind referee Kakador on one knee, studying the video. Lachut once more. Leon, very nicely done. Boyet, well, yeah, I think it was with the touch. Leon cunning. Came through like he was going to hit it very hard and just plays it into Boyer, yeah, who couldn't get out of the way then.
Leon once more hits hard off the block, squirms its way out to play over the back line. Poland 16, France 12. Second technical timeout comes up. Kubiak has a word with Poland's star spiker. They have a four point lead here. It's going well for the Polish team. France at the moment need to find their rhythm of yesterday. Tokyo Volleyball Qualification Tournament magnificently attended here in Poland. Both these teams have every chance of qualifying overall. Who will make it from this weekend though? Tilly. Gets encouragement from Irvin. Muzaj with the service for Poland. Boy, yeah, better. To go big had taken a leaf out of Leon's book. Just clipping. Clipping down through Leon as he angled his block. And Gapet, oh, lovely pancake. Utajek, that is. And Gapet, that's magnificent from France. But Gapet tried to put the point away himself. Leon. Gapet, Tilly, rejected. Poland get the point. Well, just savour that point. Agility. Pace all round. Look at that from Damian Votacek. Ungapet. Supported by his Libro, Grabenikov. Poland used the fact that France were completely out of system to take control. And then they clatter the ball. Throw away a point for 14-17. Nicely done. Poland now in a very tidy position here in this first set. Kubiak, clever, just clawing the ball. Antoine Briza unable to get there. As a captain for that World Championship win. Took Poland four points ahead. He's uh, set back to Ungapet, Leon. Kubiak once more, Tilly's back there. Nice, Chinanieze. This is where Poland can't afford to take their foot off the gas at all today. France, team that finished second in the inaugural VNL. 2015 European champions. Dinia. Pummeling the spike downwards. 19-15. Kubiak at the first go. Chinanieze. Offered little in the way of attack. And then was exposed to Beniak's power. Oh. 
Musash. Lovely left handed. Just sheer power from the big man. Very nicely set up. Pavel Zatorski with the set here. Stepping in to do the setting. Delightful results as Durska was out of system. Gapet and Co. at the moment. Need to find their way. Slowing Poland, their way of disrupting Poland, their way of silencing this large crowd at the Ergo Arena because at the moment for Poland they've got the firepower and they're exposing the weaknesses in this French team crowd are loving it the crowd really sensing how important a win here would be Oh, an ace, daring to celebrate it as well. There's got not much skill involved there. His father, Rochek, player at JSA Bordeaux. The school was born on the Atlantic coast in France. Gapet stepping back off the net slightly but finding a way through. Brisa has his beard pulled by Ungapet. Let's be careful, Ungapet. He's got a healthy beard himself. Brizard's stubble needs to take a break. 21 16. Poland have the lead. It's all smiles here in Gdansk at the moment because at the moment the team in red and white, the home team, are enjoying a good lead in the first. Missing there though for Kubiak. The French players ensuring they swerved out the way of the hard hitting number 13. His debut eight years ago now. Oh, and get that. It was communicated, it was completely read by Genia Grubenikov. He was there waiting, thinking it would come back quicker, like, quicker though, Muzaj, but it's straight down, and Grubenikov, the Libro, couldn't get near. Well, Tilly trying to mastermind a way back into this. Remember, France were down in set three yesterday against Slovenia. At that point, Kevin LaRue served sublimely. Leon. Races to the net to have his say. Poland get the point. Have another look. Leon with the spike. Time out, France. They've got to find five from here somehow. Most experience for Tilly, which are the French team since 2012, gold at the 2015 FIVB World League. European Championships later in 2015, a bronze in 2016 FIVB World League, gold in 27, 
team in the World League and a silver in the Volleyball Nations League. A pretty decent CV, that one, from the French coach since he took over. Currently five points down against Poland. Make that four. LaRue's hefty frame. Makes it 19-23. Matejek. Waits, the route. Leon brings up set point. He's winning the battle against Boyer currently. Votashek did very, very well. That was not an easy serve at all. Durzka putting it on a plate. Boyer had his eyes shut. Down off Novakovsky. The way it went. Gurushka returns. Konarski, who started incredibly strongly yesterday, heads out. The two time world championship gold medalist. Set point. Boyer, nowhere is available. Save again. Three set points. Okay, hitting. Well, yeah. Still set point here. Leon gets it. Poland were made to wait a little, but they didn't take too long in the end, and they go one nothing up at the Ergo Arena in Gdansk. They were in unbelievable form yesterday, and France have found out that today that form is continuing. How to France? Unsettle Poland. Get them off their stride. What can Unga Petten, the team, do to come back in set two? Well, we wait to see. Poland have taken the first 25-21 in the end, relatively comfortable. Let's have a look at how they did so. Let's have a look at France's spike placement in a losing set, unreturned. Those four clustered, three clustered closely together. On the left-hand side as Poland at 45%, just 33% down the middle. Poland, nothing on the right-hand side at all. Hugging the sideline for that one unreturnable. 
50 though. Left and centre. France's side of the net was wet. The spikes from Poland went 25 21. They took it. Leon has six points so far, five spikes and one block. Liniak has four points so far. Chin and Yeze going well with four points. Ungapet and Kubiak have three apiece. At the moment, it's Leon who has more than anyone else on the court here in Gdansk. Teams heading back to the court. It was Poland's women last week. Their second match of the weekend. Brocklav. It's a five. Two hours twenty-six. You know very clearly because it was the commentator on it. match Kubiak to serve and Gapet took an age to get up there and Gapet goes again beaten again on the block goes for a third time beaten again on the block fourth time lucky out it goes this time well if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was the message. From that point, Ungapet, all at sea at one point. Kept trying, and eventually, the block sends it out. one nothing. Chinaniezi to serve. Caught by Kubiak gets his second set going in style. Last time Poland didn't make an Olympic Games, Sydney 2000. World Champions 2014 in Poland, World Champions 2018. Finishing off in Italy, but of course, it was Italy and Bulgaria that hosted that world championship. Gapet whistle goes France's way. 2 1. Touch on the net on the way down. Domakovsky, I think it was, who just clipped the net with his elbows. Oh yeah, into Leon and out. Oh yeah, happy to take the plaudits from his team there. A match he's struggling, a match up he's struggling against in Leon. Off. Clawed the ball back, got penalised though for his efforts. 28 year old. It's 29 on the 13th, three days' time. Tips of Tilly. Claw the ball back into play. Three apiece. France have been dragged back into this one from 3 1 up. Left to 
the right. Three meters thirty four, six foot ten. I bet the crowd almost forgot to boot that time for the French team. Mahout, maybe 6'10", still wasn't tall enough. Action the block effectively that time. Bukowski again, the decoy. It worked for Kubiak. Forteche. Poland penalised four touches. Forteche cleared it over the net, one handed. 6-4, Kubiak pushed it in, 1-2-3, yeah, 4, it was the leg of Novakovsky, it was the extra one that Vodacek noticed. Haven't seen Karol Kloss yet today. Big reverse, Musash going wild. Excellent from Derishka. Musash just pushing it back inside on Gaped. Look at that. Musash who plays for Oniko Warsaw. Second best scorer for Poland in the Volleyball Nations League. Boyet. Yeah. Fingertips helped Poland that time. Kubiak. No one's back. Dershka raced forward. Mistakenly so. 7 5. France have the lead. Off Kevin Tilly's head. He scores it. Yet the chance to go to the technical timeout instead makes it 6 7. It's Poland another serve, another chance to affect the score into this technical timeout. Dershka has the chance. Fabian Dershka started in position two yesterday. Mouzaj gets the touch. Mouzaj squares it up. He's starting to find a rhythm here, and he's a dangerous player when he does. Leon top scoring with seven, but Mouzaj is on the move at the moment. Kubiak gets hit hard. 8-7, very narrow lead France at the technical timeout. Mouzaj just to confirm on five points, second top scorer with Kubiak. Four spikes and a block to his name. France have a narrow lead at the technical. Well, 
I must admit, this arena. Such a welcoming arena, such a vibrant arena. If the atmosphere of the Olympics is anything like this, it will be a absolute pleasure. Tilly does well. And then Biniak and Muzaj together. Bring it back to level pegging once more. Eight apiece. Boyer again. The man who can't find a way through. Knocking Muzaj off his feet as they work together to stop the French attack. Fingertips towards Grabenikov. Holland's response out of the technical timeout has been emphatic here. Lovely serve from Kubiak. Sonuti was a height mismatch with Leon, and all it did was help Leon out in the end. Eight points for him. Biniak, Kubiak. Muzaj and Chin and Yeze five. Derska for Leon. Boyer again. I wouldn't be surprised if France have a look at another option, a change of strategy here, because for Stefan Boyer currently, this is not working. He is being outplayed. Biniak Muzaj. Leon just too much for the number 12 at the moment. He can spike up to 365. The man who plays in Italy for Gazzettonia for Hunter. Maybe France need to rethink of a way round the likes of. Cheers. Miniac. Kanarski. Follek. And Co. Delighted. France were smiling. And now, though, not smiling. Tanuti manages to retrieve off the net touch. Boyer still in. Gapet will have another go here. Durska. Lovely backcourt pipe for Kubiak. And Poland proving that yesterday's form was no fluke. I said in commentary yesterday, it's all well and good playing well. No offence, but against the lower-ranked teams like Tunisia, can you do it when it matters? There goes Boyer. I wondered how long that would be. Patrick comes in for France. Jean-Patrick opposite. Just one point. Little used yesterday against Slovenia. But Vianella evidence suggests he offers a lot. Beautiful serve again. Muziaj doesn't touch the net. Is against France that time. Lizar left it alone over his shoulder and down. And Musash made sure he didn't touch the net. Whatever he did. Kubiak, nice serve. Tilly did very well with the receipt there. That was not easy. Ungapet. On and out. Silence falls. As I said, it would when France score. Ungapet yesterday, 14 points for the match. So far, just five. Poland keeping him at bay.
Musaj, left-handed, brutal spiking, long, powerful, and with genuine intent. 103, huge gaps in the French front line. Poland on a roll here, 13-9, Vigna. Oh, the slip from Beniak, and he isn't happy with himself. Three. Wanders away. Beniak gets micromanaged by Metalinen. Three with the serve. Leon was aiming for the long spike, top right corner, didn't get there. France are back within two here. And Patrick will serve once more. Montpellier man. To the net, plays the Monte Montpellier. You see, two meters seven centimeters shorter than Maciej Muzaj of Poland. Gapet, look at that. Oh, Vitalainen. Got smashed there by Ungaped. Missed. And it's 15, 11. Oh. Dushka. Dushka looks like he could explode right now. Ungaped. He's wondering what he has to do here. All too easy. Nowakowski and Dershka together. Ungapet still just on five points. Technical timeout. Ready to go. 16-11. Poland really imposing themselves here on this French team. Muzaj with the dig. That caught by Tilly. Oh, it's a Torski. Double touch there. Oh, the French will feel aggrieved here. Grubenikov, the man penalised. It's a line and staying quiet. French players over at the net. These are Ngapet, two of them. The referee standing firm, believing in his decision. Love to see a replay of it. Not sure we're going to get that. Wazaj. The route to Torski. Ngapet asking the question. And it goes against France. They're going to be again up in arms here. It's all going Poland's way. Let's have a look. Ungapet was arguing with the referee. A touch on the net. Yep. Oof. He knew. The route auxiliary setter. Ungapet. Kubiak managed to get his hands down there. France get a point back. Ungapet happy to have another word. LaRue and Lagoff trade places. That look says it all from Kevin LaRue.
Spurs got short, sharp. Novakovsky. Inevitable at the moment. The team that top pool beat in the finals of the VNL. Pushing on towards the two set lead. Out goes Mozaj. How well does he play today? Seven points. Bomash comes in. Setter. Leon. Told to hit between six and one. Did so there. Confusion as Tilly and Kobenikov get in the way. So Nuti can't believe it. Confusion in the French ranks. Ungapet. Twenty points to twelve. Timeout called by France. What does Laurent Tilly do here? Rio was their fourth time at the Olympics. Ninth, they finished a place lower than their best ever in 1988 in Seoul. Of course, the Olympic Games to Asia for the first time in what will be 12 years when we make it to Tokyo, Beijing 2008. the stops on the beach in Rio and by the bridge in London bridges in London out it goes Poland breezing to 2 nothing here are they breezing to Olympic qualification For the fifth time in a row Games if they make it. One of a small group of nations to qualify ten times plus. The protection on for the youngsters in so great to see so many youngsters in the crowd. Also so important that they do have the appropriate ear attire. It's noisy in here. For Mash. It goes off the block. Poland can do nothing wrong. Leon wanders off. Eight points to his name. Ruzaj seven, Biniak six, Kubiak six. Then you get to a Frenchman, is Ungapet, who has six himself. Messi again from France, but it's called out for Poland. The crowd can barely believe it. 14-22. Vignette wasn't short. Kowalski going up with him, though, it was well out. Tilly gets the point. Had to go a long way. Nice set, considering. Cleverly done. Chinenyeze. Big gap in the between the Polish front and back rows. Nice replay of the 2009 European final. This one. Poland's only ever European Championship win. 3-1 they took that final. Seven European medals ever for the Polish team. The rally now from the French. Patry at the net. And suddenly some nervous faces in the Polish fans in the crowd.
He's a pressure serve. Oh, Kubiak. It's cold. What a finish that was. Position four. Right handed. Now the fans on their feet. 23 16, just two away from 2 0. Kamarski serves. Big deflection. Tilly with the hit. Kubiak, I think, just signaling it hits his head. Let's have another look. Oh no. All right hand. Trying to angle it down. Now, still alive, Poland did stop briefly. <laughs> Two goes, comes back for number three. Oh, took everything off it. Oh, you've got to feel for Matthias Biniak there. Eight points yesterday. First go, and second go, he put everything in. Third go, well, was he a miss it? Or was he deliberately trying to trick the French? I think it was a miss hit. And now Dersger gets penalised for two touch for the ball. Back into system. Beniak's having shooting practice at the moment. Spiking practice for the number 20. It's not all going right. Seven points now for him. And the French just look disillusioned to me at the moment. I said it could be a shootout today. It has been for Poland. Set point. Pace. Kubiak finishes with an arrogant stare over at the blue side of the net. The red and white of Poland here. Very much on the run towards a comfortable win. Can they do it in three? Can they continue without losing a set here in Gdansk? We wait to see. 25-21, 25-19. France yet to offer up much that says they're going to take this third and take it into a fourth or even a fifth set. Gdansk loving the action here and the Polish men's team are as the women's team last week in Wroclaw tried to do offering them performances to match the entertainment. The women of course going down in the end to Serbia 3-1 in their final game in a winner takes all Tokyo playoff essentially. Let's have a look at how Poland took the second. So 25-19, just over a minute left on the break between set, set to contact points for France. Set two, 44%. Look at that, 31%. Where they were chasing their tails, not a great set, but for Dershka and Poland. And of course, Romash, who came in, 84% in and around the arc. 
control for Poland. Really did tell. Heavier margin of defeat for France in the second. What can they do in the third set to slow the hosts here? off the Libro. It's confirmation of the score. Poland haven't dropped a set in Gdansk so far and in all honesty so far in this one. For Antoine Brizard and Co. I can't see how they're going to drop a set here either because Poland have just outplayed France so far. Once again, take the first point. France haven't had lack of chances. They've had leads. Donuti out the game currently. We saw those set of contact point percentages. It's been horrible for France. Or was at least in that second set. Fought back the other way from Brisa. In as France's setter at the moment. Boyet yeah, didn't get it down. Durzka managed to keep the ball up. And again with the dig. In steps Kubiak for Leon. Who nearly knocks Tilly off his feet. Ungapet, Leon's there, down it goes. Quicker to the net. Ungapet seems to take, seemed to take an age to get there. It's beaten by the taller man in the end. Boy, yeah, with cover from Grabenikov that time. Managed to get what is becoming a rare point for Boyet in this match so far. Taken out in the second as he was running very limited opportunity at getting the ball for all success, I should say. Gapet to serve, no aces so far. There's one. Gapet. Check. Very good at service return. Couldn't get it that time. Can Irvin do it again? Leon. Rabinikov. And all about the power. Of the spike of Wilfredo. Leon Venero. Slightly awkwardly there. Is mental strength hold up here if Leon, the former Cuban player from 2007 to 2012, almost a safety Perugia player, Polish team really get on a roll for all. So yeah, getting the point off Leon's block. The spike. It's 
Kantelainen restless, but he'll be happy with how his team are performing here. Oh. Fair play, France. That was serve receipt of the weekend from Ungapet. Watch this. Superbly to get any control. And Tilly put it down. Five each. Keeps it alive. Dershka into Tilly. Poland have the edge at 7 5. Oh, Muzaj, a big man, did very well to keep that going for Poland. And Dershka just got it through any old way he could. He is so pumped today. Kovsky to serve once more. Didn't play the NL finals. Looks up to the heavens. Six, seven. Off. And Gapet. Big block touch. Seven up piece. Went away from the technical timeout. Poland just stuttering. A little more than what they were at the start of this set. They're 2 0 up. Tilly didn't really enjoy his time on court yesterday. Misses. So different, wasn't far away there. Eight seven Poland going to the fine margins. International volleyball Can Poland convert eight seven at the first technical timeout into a winning position. Daryl the little blocker who hasn't seen any court time yet. Same well done to his team. Words to the Polish team. Crowds being entertained by the volleyball, by the sports presentation in between. Gladiators enjoying it too. Leon now 13 points, 11 spikes, a block, and an ace. Kubiak, the number 13, as Slivka comes in. 8.6 spikes, a block, and an ace. Dershka, 4 points, 2 spikes, a block, and an ace. Boyer. Yeah. Dershka's hand sent it skywards. Polish players racing to try and retrieve. Kubiak couldn't do so. Lovely. Long spike from Biniak once more. He goes alongside Ungapet on eight and Kubiak as well. Oh, just for Derska. Used everything he had. Totally legal on the set though. Ball hand drifted across. The 
kickoff knew it wasn't far away. And Goff adds one of his own. Hush around the Ergo Arena. getting involved and feeling like they had a hand in that. Personally, not a huge fan of booing the position. Don't think it's right myself, but part of the game. There is Jack. Leon. Oh, boy, yeah. He wore that on the right foot. Traveling at some pace. Super spike, 115 kilometers an hour. The Goff and Ungapet nowhere near. The man who made his international debut at 14 years of age. The Goff once more. Having an impact for France. A good impact in Fulhu currently. Again, the error on the French serve. Only errors were even until that service. 15 to 14. Oh, Moussage, it's in. Now, that was corrected. It was about to be given out. Flag went up. Muzash has the ace. Muzash can't get there. he would have had to run up the stairs to get that one back. Kubiak helped to his feet. Boyer helps himself. Effort to mop the court after Kubiak slid. It's moisture, the enemy to a volleyball player because the slip danger on the court. Le Goff to serve. Oh, that's good. Well, that was cheeky, almost rude. The golf serve wasn't all that. Kubiak put it up there, Dershka. And Kevin Tilly, a man with vast experience, almost mocked by the Polish setter. Leon. Leon with the dig. Kubiak. Oh, how it got down. There were two players there. Gubernikov probably was the better option. Poland are one away from the second technical timeout. And France keep floating in and out of this match. Tilly was well beaten. Antoine Prizard, the other man. 
Timeout called by France. What does Lohan Tilly say here? for Poland they would have barely even dreamed of it going this well today smiles behind the eyes of every Polish fan in here remember at world level 11 wins apiece in 22 meetings France holds sway in actual Olympic qualification, sorry, actual Olympic competition. In Athens in the group stage, 2004. France won 3 0. They could be on the end of a 3 0 walloping, really, here. In terms of what was expected, France just haven't shown up to the level that Poland have today. third in the Volleyball Nations League. France finished sixth overall. Lyon. <laughs> well, Julian Linier diving down. Technical timeout comes up. France, sixes and sevens. Yes, they tried. Gapet. Well, his head not quite in his hands, but bemused. Poland. Their audience, their passionate audience, doing everything they can to create a raucous atmosphere here. Marvellous atmosphere this is. It's a party in Gdansk. Worst places in the world to be than Gdansk in the middle of August. 10,000 or so people in here. Loving the action. Loving seeing their team play on their way to an Olympic Games. Assuming they do get there. Tokyo volleyball qualification is what it is all about this weekend. Another point on the board for Dershka. Another point along the road for Poland. Tilly. Vinier and Dershka alongside. It's worked more than once today. Laurent Tilly's team have been absolutely pulled apart so far. Boyer, yeah, better from him. But potentially from the number 12, too little, too late to start getting the results. 108 kilometers an hour, big gaps between Kubiak and Biniak. Boyer, yeah, who... Had to be taken out of the game earlier on, it was going so badly. So goes, two touches. Dershka winces. Boyet yeah, from a long way back would have done well to finish that off. Moussage into Grubenikov. This is the danger against the opposite for Poland. He has a mismatch, he has space as he did there, both in height and the space offered. By Lanil. Very dangerous player. 15. 
18. Go back to Kubiak, who stings French fingers once more. <laughs> the French fan in the foreground there. Well, if looks could Kelly was scowling at the camera, the Polish fans are partying. The French fans want it to be over. Leniel finds a way beyond Leon for a point. 16-19. Marbiniak has four points from blocking. Leon. Venerhu just won. 16-19. Prisa to serve. Leon. Boyer boots the ball away. That's 20 now for Poland. Boyer wasn't far away. This man is oh so good. Neil, nice left handed. Now, is there going to be a review, a challenge? To Leinen. Looks happy. Ball out. Neil looks down. Laurent Tilly, Penny for his thoughts. His team at the moment looking like not just losing this one, but an emphatic loss. Leon 22 17. The man who here in Poland in 2017. One with Zenit Kazan, the FIVB Club World Championship best outside spiker that year. Silvers with the Russian club in the same competitions in 2015 and 16 in Betim. will have to refocus for tomorrow and hope that Slovenia and Poland look seven bells out of each other. Not done and dusted yet. Here comes Chibu Rosa. Libre. Normally Libre. to serve
Well, yeah. And that just about sums up the match for France today. Chininyeze had the chance to add a point, makes a simple error. Poland ring the changes. Womash comes in once more. Konarski. It's ridiculous though with Poland. The bench gets used and they have such strength and depth. Panuti, his face. Absolutely fuming. 19 23. Leon with it. Service error. In comes Derska once more. Back comes Muzash. Two players that went in. Stand there. Watch the fault. Wander back out. Boy, yeah. Riza gets the block point. France are up to 20. They need some magic to take the set and force the issue with Poland here. Boyer once more. And that is an error. And it's now match point. If you're just joining us, it has been emphatic from Poland. They are on the edge of a straight sets victory over France. Leon has hit 17, Kubiak 10, Biniak 9, Poland have been on fire. Boyer, yeah. Tilly, Leon does well. Back court by Muzash, still going. Kubiak to finish it. Gets it as well. There's the match. Poland go to a nothing. France, well, they've lost their first match here in Gdansk. And their qualification for Tokyo from Pool D is currently in tatters. Poland have absolutely ripped France apart there. 25-20. In the third, 3 nothing. Poland, two wins from two. France now one win, one loss after their three sets win against Slovenia yesterday. The form book, very much franked from yesterday as Poland looks so strong against Tunisia. But we said, what will they offer against a stronger team? Well, the answer was even more. Ungapet struggled today. Boyer struggled more for his nine points. Ended up top scorer. Ungapet eight. Tilly seven. Chinanyeze five spikes and two blocks. But Leon 17. Kubiak 11. Biniak nine. Muzaj. What a performance for seven spikes for the big number two. He hit nine points in total. Poland hit France for six today. And they win it 3 0 in the end. It really was. A one out of 25 for Poland. That match, 75-60, ends up on the aggregate scores. Well, Poland finished their team talk. They've been unbelievable today. Vitalainen said, great job. They did all he asked for. They lead the Ergo Arena with another three points in the bag, another three sets in the bag, and still impenetrable in terms of sets against. For France, it's back to the drawing board. Yesterday, pulling through against Slovenia. 3-0. They came in here with momentum. They've gone out a match too. Deflated. Their top scorer from yesterday. Quietened. 
Poland. Well, Slovenia will try and throw everything at them. We'll see more against Tunisia, how they're shaping up today after a three sets loss yesterday. The Slovenians. Slovenia are dangerous to Poland to some degree. The team that have beaten Japan last year. Lost narrowly to Argentina. Poland will know that they've qualified for the Volleyball Nations League as Novikowski picks up a family member. Poland receiving rapturous applause here. It's been a all conquering day for the Polish men. They've taken it 3 0 against France. Let's have a look at how they did it. Well, congratulations to Poland. 3 nothing against the French. The team ranked five places below them in the world rankings. Poland looking very good for Tokyo qualification. Slovenia, Tunisia to come later on here in Gdansk.